Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. This lab will be the first in a series of three labs on NAT, Network Address Translation. This first lab will cover static NAT. Static NAT creates a one-to-one -one relationship between an inside address typically an IP address in a private address range such as 192.168.1.0, and an outside address, typically a public IP address on the internet. I won't explain in detail how NAT works. Hopefully you've already studied it. This lab will give you some basic practice in configuring static NAT. Let's look at step one. RIP has been pre-configured so that any device on this network should be able to reach any other device. Let's try a ping from PC1 to Server1. One. Ping 1.1.1.100. One it doesn't work. Why could this be? I wrote a hint here, stating that the serial connection between R1 and R2 is using ACLs to simulate the internet. What exactly does that mean? Well, PC1's address is 192.168.1.11. This is a private IP address. These private IP addresses cannot be routed over the internet. So when PC1 attempts to ping server one, the source IP is 192.168.1.11 and the destination is 1.1.1.100. 1.1.1.100 is a public IP address, so it can be routed over the internet. However, when server1 sends a reply, the addresses are swapped. The source address is 1.1.1.100, and the destination address is 192.168.1.11. Because 192.168.1.11 is in the private IP address range, it cannot be routed over the internet and is dropped. So, our goal is to configure static NAT on R1 to translate the private IP addresses of PC1 PC2, and PC3 to public IP addresses. If we do that, PC1 will send a ping to server1, and once again the source address will be 192.168.1.11, and the destination 1.1.1.100. However, when the packet reaches R1, R1 will translate the source address to whatever we specify, 1.2.3.11 in this case. When server1 sends its reply, the source address will be, once again, 1.1.1.100, and the destination, 1.2.3.11. When the reply reaches R1, R1 will translate the destination address from 1.2.3.11 back to PC1's address of 192.168.1.11. So, let's get to the configuration on R1. Enable, conf t, First, we have to specify R1's interfaces as inside or outside NAT interfaces. The inside interface faces our inside private network, so G00 in this case. Interface G00. IP NAT inside. The outside interface will be S030, our interface facing the internet. Interface S030, IP NAT outside. Exit. Now let's configure the translations themselves. Static NAT is configured with the following command. IP NAT inside source static, followed by the inside private address, then the outside public address. So for PC1, our inside address is 192.168.1.11, and our outside address is 1.2.3.11. Okay, that's it for PC1. Now let's do the same command for PC2, just changing the addresses. IP NAT inside source static, 192.168.1.12, 1.2.3.12. Finally, for PC3, IP NAT inside source static, 192.168.1.13, 1.2.3.13, Okay, our NAT configuration is now complete.
Let's go on the PCs and try to ping server 1 again. From PC1 first. Ping 1.1.1.100. The ping works this time, so our NAT configuration has been successful. Just to make sure, I'll ping from PC2 and PC3 as well. PC2 first, ping 1.1.1.100. Again, the ping works. Finally, let's ping from PC3. Ping 1.1.1.100. PC3 works as well. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a brave verified publisher and accept BAT, or Basic Attention Token, donations in the Brave browser.